The Irish Canstein Orchestra was set up in 2020 and we literally brought 40 odd Canstein players together from around the country um, to uh, pioneer the idea of a Canstein Orchestra playing, a, playing as an ensemble. So I was commissioned to write music for that, uh, so I wrote it and arranged it. And then myself and three other tutors basically taught that to our orchestra last year, mainly on Zoom because of uh, the pandemic. Um, and we recorded it in uh, April of last year. It was difficult when we had to do the online learning, but coming back then when we were all together, playing together, like it really, it, it showed like you take for granted playing with your friends and playing together and it sounded a lot different because we hadn't been playing together in so long. Yeah, I think it's uh, been a great success uh, from the point of view that a lot of the kids have got to hang out with their own age group. You know, after two, three years of lockdown and music been taken away, uh, the Irish Concertina Orchestra has brought back huge unity within music in County Clare for this age group and on this instrument. It's people their own age playing the same instrument in something that's never really been done. You know, it's the first of its kind. A concertina orchestra, you probably tell some people that and they think you're mad. But, <laughs> like, it, surprisingly, it's working really well. Because the standard of the students is really high, like, and they're all well able to play. Um, so they're, and even just, you know, they're friends for life, really, as well. They're, they'll be talking about this in 30, 40 years, hopefully, if you remember when we did that. We were the first group to do it. So there are two commissions for this concert with the Chamber Orchestra and the Constantine Orchestra. Uh, the first commission is my, uh, my own suite of music, which uh, is called um, Sleen at Laura, or The Path to Freedom. And it's basically inspired by uh, the centenary of the foundation of our state. We approached Zodo Mo, that's Zoe Conway, Donal Lunny, and Martin O'Connor. We commissioned them to write a piece of music and they're going to perform that piece of music with the Irish Concertine Orchestra, the Irish Chamber Orchestra and Cormac McCarthy's on piano and conducting. Well, we were invited to, to do this commission for the Irish Chamber Orchestra and the Irish Concertina Orchestra and um, it was such an exciting project for us as a trio. We've never tried to compose a piece together before. Normally one of us will bring, it, bring a piece to the group and we'll work on it together. But in this situation, um, we asked Martin to write the opening kind of section and then me to do the middle and Donald to do the end and that they would all kind of work together cohesively. So um, it was really interesting, really unusual and quite exciting, like a, a very new project project for us to, to, to do and all of the tunes that we've composed and um, they have really interesting elements like key changes and unusual chords underneath and cross rhythms a lot of the time as well so it's quite a challenge for the orchestra and we've rehearsed it now and I can tell you they, they know it backwards they're unbelievably well prepared. Well, the pieces this year, they're very intricate. The fingering on it, the rhythms, it's very, very difficult. So they've all managed it really, really well. So no doubt that will definitely enhance their own playing throughout the years. We're delighted to have Cormac McCarthy on board, a very much in demand musician, composer and arranger at the moment. So it's amazing for the children and young people to have an opportunity to work with somebody of Cormac's calibre. Tim would have sent me the 
pieces uh, that he'd composed and he had ideas um, regarding structure and form and where the concertinas would play but he still left a certain amount of it open as well to me. So between the two of us we were back and forth and came up with a plan and yeah it kind of happened, it came together pretty easily to be honest with you. He's been walking us through step by step what he wants to change in the tunes, maybe variations and he helps us with the timing and he that's how he helps us with the timing. Because they have the music so so much under their fingers, uh, it's it's not challenging for them, I think, at this point, to, to actually play through the through the tunes, which is remarkable because they're difficult. So as a result, they've been able to kind of really embrace the whole ensemble aspect of it and the interaction with the chamber orchestra and with myself, and it's it's been a lovely, lovely experience. I think I've definitely gotten better at playing with other people. Playing in an orchestra with a lot of concertinas is different to playing in like a group or a band in a competition. And definitely playing with the orchestra, you get better at like knowing when to come into tunes and drop out of tunes and you get better at counts and stuff. It's really amazing. It's so different. It's like, it's all, I always kind of get a buzz from the classical. It kind of makes it seem a bit more kind of uplifting but um, it's kind of a more full because you're being accompanied instead of just kind of the melody. Well, I think that even just the way we're all there on the stage together and we're all feeling the same pulse and we're all in the same groove together, that in itself is a learning experience for us all, but especially as with the young people there who probably haven't maybe played with at an orchestra before, a classical orchestra. And I have to say Cormac does a really great job of kind of translating all the different languages so nobody feels out of their comfort zone, it's all very easy, we're all just feeling the groove together, it's really nice. It's amazing because I'm so used to hearing the concertina practicing the pieces, so when you hear the strings behind you it sounds amazing, even the piano, Cormac's great in it and it, it feels more lively I suppose on the stage to keep you in time. an amazing opportunity for, for all the kids involved and us as tutors. I'm sure in 20, 30 years time when we're going to remember back to playing with the Irish Chamber Orchestra and Glower and playing with Don Lunny and Zoe Conway and Martin O'Connor and Cormac, Cormac McCarthy. It's pretty much once in a lifetime opportunity you know, as, as, a, as a child or as a teenager I always imagined myself playing with an orchestra behind me and now these kids are actually getting to to do it and it's I think it's special. Yeah. I think the pieces have kind of made me think outside the box because obviously I'm used to more traditional kind of styles and then playing with an orchestra it's obviously a lot different and it's more creative I suppose and a lot different with harmonies and timings and even the staff notation would be used to it but I think it's developed even like when I'm playing my own traditional piece of music now it makes me think more about the piece and what it's like, the story it's telling, I suppose, because every tune has a story. When I went into the orchestra, it really improved on my playing, and I think Tim and Sinead and everyone, and they're all really great teachers, they're very patient and they really help you. We've definitely improved a lot with um, different, you know, different harmonies and um, just improved in general as concertina players, working as a team. Well, don't give it a second thought, definitely sign up because it's just such a fantastic opportunity um, and I think all of the students involved would say that as well, that there's pupils from all over in it, so it's just like they'll meet those other kids now at workshops and festivals and flas. So that's the friendship side of it and then you will also have the musical side of it it'll just really enhance the playing and you'll be playing with that many concertina players which wouldn't be a usual thing and just to be surrounded by such wonderful music and new pieces and learning new things different rhythms different techniques it's just really really interesting so definitely go for it
Music Generation is Ireland's national music education programme, the mission of which, quite simply, is to transform young lives through music. The programme is co-funded by U2, the Ireland Funds, the Department of Education and local music education partnerships, of which there is one in County Clare. So the great thing about being involved with Music Generation Clare, and in particular with, with Paul de Grin, um, who's over Music Gen here in Clare, is he's a very creative guy and a guy of great vision. And um, um, he is constantly in discussions with me about you know, what's, what's going to happen next year, we're halfway through next year, and what's going to happen the following year. So we're always looking for, for new projects. So uh, it hasn't been announced yet, but there is an exciting project in, in the pipeline for 2022-2023, which will involve, again, more commissions and working with, with uh, more uh, professional musicians. Amazing, absolutely fantastic. Um, our daughter's in the concertina orchestra, so just a, an amazing experience for them to be playing with people like that. They're fantastic musicians and it was, it was brilliant, it was a great night. No, really enjoyed it. One of the best concerts we've seen in a long time in Glower with young people and professionals, really good. Great for the young people of County Clare in Ireland, brilliant. Fantastic, inspiring, it's, it's so great to know Irish music is alive and well. You know, it just would lift your heart. I am humbled to be here and I'm delighted that my daughter got to be involved. And all the driving up and down from Galway for the last eight months has been worth every minute. And it was fabulous and well done, everyone involved. This was beautiful. I was in the trance. The bus took us an awful lot of walking to it. Well, we are the whole current in the heaven or fun. We ate so look down, we got for down, we built down, just we should go on to reach the hauling. I was an officer in Brethren shop. The Dini O got the horror, we had a harbour. So, Kogarskis, the back in a brief winter fish. Huge amount of talent, huge amount of work and practice gone into it, and they were all just super wonderful fusion of uh, different genres and different instruments, or the, the chamber orchestra and the concertina orchestra, just super.